Hello friends, welcome again to the world of Maths by Amir. This is the solution with homework of the counting figure challenge. You have a figure and we need to find how many rectangles do we have including the square figure. Now it's time to check the solution and the concepts. We need to work on two concepts. The first one is counting the rectangle. For the rectangle, if we find the construction, if you rectangle the construction, then you have two horizontal perpendicular lines and two vertical perpendicular lines. Means we need two horizontal lines, we need two vertical lines. If you have a set of parallel or perpendicular lines and a set of horizontal and perpendicular lines, so if you have n vertical, m horizontal lines, so with the help of PNC, we have two lines, so we need NC2. Selection of two lines out of n lines, which ka value hota hai n into n minus 1 by 2. And if you want two lines out of m lines, then again mc2, selection of two out of m lines is nothing but m into m minus 1 by 2. Many of you ko bata diya gaya ga, hai. This is a concept that is n into n minus 1 by 2, m into 1, m minus 1 by 2. And the number of rectangles is nothing but the product because we are taking at a time. Bahut bari confusion hota hai ki kab plus kare, kab minus kare. That is, if you are taking together, to multiply kare. This is NC2 into MC2. Yehi hota hai agar aapke paas horizontal or vertical spare ho two lines ke. That is nothing but N into N minus 1 by 2 into M into M minus 1 by 2. Agar pair ho. But agar case ho overlap ka to. In the case of overlap, on this figure bhi bahut sare alag cases hote hai. In the case of overlap, we apply A union B. That is the all. Agar hum sara kare to. That is hota hai A plus B. Minus A intersection B. So, we have to segment the number of rectangles in this segment. So, this segment is nothing but A. In this segment, we have to number of rectangles in this segment. So, this segment is nothing but B. And this overlap segment, we have to number number of rectangles in this segment. And I will say that A intersection B. Our answer is number of rectangles in A with this formula, number of rectangles B in this formula, number of rectangles A intersection B with this formula and get the answer. Now solve this question. Now we have section A, section B and overlap case. We just need to find the rectangles in section A, section B and A intersection B. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 vertical line and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 horizontal lines in section A. So we have 4C2 into 7C2. That is section A number of rectangle. This one is nothing but 4 into 3 by 2 into 7 into 6 by 2. Section B, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have again 4C2 into 8C2 for the section B, which is nothing but 4 into 3 by 2 into 8 into 7 by 2. And it's time for section A intersection B. Whenever you have overlap, do like this. Okay. We have 1, we have we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4. We have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4. So it is nothing but 4C2 into 4C2. This one is nothing but 4 into 3 by 2 into 4 into 3 by 2. So we just need to add section A plus section B and subtract section A intersection B. And after solving this, we will get nothing but 258. And this one is my answer. Whenever you have to find either rectangle or parallelogram like this figure, like the overlap figure, we use A plus B minus A intersection B. If you have multiple overlaps, then we use inclusion, exclusion or the other set formulas. So I hope this one is okay with you. But still, if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me. Okay. With this solution, I am giving you nothing but one homework. This one is your homework. Find the number of rectangles including the squares in this figure and you have your homework. Solve this question and post answer in comment. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Happy learning and God bless you.